What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Darian, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. And of course, I love looking good and smelling amazing. And if you are just like me and you love to do just that, look good and smell great, and you've come to the right channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also go ahead while you're at it and hit that bell notification so that you get notified every time I release a new video from my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review on one of the latest releases from the house of Bond number no. 9. If you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you guys know that this is a house that I really, really like. And um, I couldn't wait to get my hands on one of the newest releases from the Bond number no. 9 house. So if you want to know what my thoughts are on this one right here, which is Greenwich Village from Bond number no. 9, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. guys we're back thank you so much for keeping it locked in let's go ahead and jump right into it starting with the presentation so this is what the box looks like uh, standard packaging for bond number nine fragrances it usually comes with a plastic sleeve and um, when you open the box up um, the fragrance will rest right in this enclosure right here and usually with bond number nine fragrances of course you get this night this card right here and if you fill it out from what I've been told you're supposed to be able to get some samples now I've never filled one out and sent it back to be quite honest with you but there is a card in here that you are able to do that and send it in and get some samples from some of their latest releases well I love the box I do like this color this is a very unique color it's almost like a, a teal green or or a turquoise color that it comes in and of course that matches the fragrance perfectly um, this is the bottle presentation of course very reminiscent of what you see on the box teal color i think this is like a gold color that the words are written on in the front overall again at the end of the day i like the presentation on this fragrance so let's go ahead and give it a spray all right so i can tell you a little bit more about what i get from this now this fragrance, when it was released initially, was said to smell like Baccarat Rouge 540. So I want to go ahead and say off top, this is not a clone by any means of Baccarat Rouge. This fragrance does have some similarities to it, though I would put it more in the slight category. I would say about only 25% of this reminds me of Baccarat Rouge 540. What I find to be kind of the same between the two fragrances is kind of that almost, that artificial sweetness that you get from Baccarat Rouge 540 as well as Greenwich Village. A lot of people talked about that with Baccarat Rouge 540 that it smelled kind of like uh, like burnt sugar or burnt candy. You kind of get that same vibe and accord with this, although in this one it is coming from the use of a note called praline, uh, which I'll get a little bit more into that in just a moment. So the fragrance opens up, you know, you get the sweetness, but it's very, very fruity on the opening. Uh, that comes from the Cassis as well as the lychee. Now, Cassis is a note that is similar to black currant, uh, except it's a little bit more animalic than what you would get from black currant, the way that it's used in uh, most fragrances. So, but you can kind of get a similar vibe to what you get from black currant. And the lychee is more like a, 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 a grape. So imagine a nice, juicy, succulent grape. That's kind of sort of, you get that kind of fruity grape vibe from lychee so again very very uh fruity i would say like a mouth watering fruity vibe that you get in the opening of this fragrance now in the first couple minutes uh really to me is really all about the base notes in this one which on the base you're going to get that praline note and vanilla as well as some musk now as i stated earlier praline is kind of an artificial uh note that's put into fragrances that kind of gives it a candy like sweetness and you get a lot of that in this fragrance. You get a lot of praline. Um, there's also vanilla in this as well. So you can imagine an artificial note that gives it a candy-like sweetness combined with vanilla. So it's a very, very kind of sugary, sweet um, dry down 
which honestly reminds me and puts me in the mindset of a gold mine fragrance and that's why i kind of put it in that category you got some, some juicy uh fruity opening and fruity notes that kind of go throughout the life of the fragrance combined with those sweeter notes like again the um the praline and the vanilla so it's a very very sweet fragrance now on the base as well in addition to the primary notes of praline and vanilla you also have a musk and ambroxan so you kind of get that musky ambroxan thing that kind of comes into play on a dry down with some woods but overall guys i absolutely love this fragrance there's not a lot of reviews out there on this um, it kind of had a buzz when it came out but again if you if you search you won't find a whole lot of reviews on this particular fragrance i don't know why it could just be that bond number nine thing uh, a lot of guys um a lot of people for some reason kind of you know seem not to really vibe with the house but hey at the end of the day that means there's more for me now as it comes to performance this is when this fragrance gets another check mark for me personally because in my time sampling this fragrances i've gotten between nine and ten hours of performance each time i've worn greenwich village so uh, a fragrance that smells good and performs is always a fragrance that is good in my book now this fragrance retails for 405 dollars retail and i know that that's very costly but the good news is it's already hit the secondary market so places like fragrance net etc you can find a pretty good deal on this and i would say definitely at the price point of between 140 to 170 dollars this fragrance to me is definitely worth the money in this 3.3 ounce bottle again overall presentation i love it a very unique color uh, very very eye-catching looks really good um, it's a really really good addition as far as appearance in your collection and I absolutely love this stuff guys so for me I personally would highly recommend Greenwich Village if you had guys have never put your nose on it I encourage you to get a sample again if you like Baccarat Rouge 540 you'll probably like this it's a little this one's a little bit sweeter to me a little bit more fruity but again if you like Baccarat Rouge I think you may like this one as well all right guys that's my time thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this video because of course i know you could be anywhere else in the world but you're right here with me taking the time to watch this video and i sincerely appreciate that don't forget to take the time to like comment and subscribe and share these videos out to other folks that you think could use this information that is in love with fragrances like we are or they may find me entertaining because i'm your guy the bow tie fragrance guy i love to look good and of course i love to smell amazing so until next time guys keep looking good keep smelling even better i'll catch you on the flip side peace